Now you work for MTN. I mean, many people would kill to work for MTN. I mean, in Nigeria today, <laughs> in Nigeria, this is one of the very few companies that we know pay well. Or at least we believe pay well. We don't oh, work for okay. MTN. <laughs> <laughs> now, what will it take for someone to, you know, get a, a job at MTN? What are what are the things that you think MTN looks for in a suitable or in um, an ideal candidate for employment. Okay, when I when I joined MTN, before I joined MTN, I've applied severally to work in MTN. Oh, really? No response whatsoever. Mm. Um, the bobo does not MTN, no, but we bobo mm. ourselves in Diamond Bank that because Pascal Dozier is the chairman of MTN. There is a rule that if you work in Diamond Bank, you can never be employed in MTN. Oh, and we okay. accepted it. Maybe sometimes we even stop applying. Mm. So it was just, I travel, I think I traveled to Abuja for one interview because I desperately needed to leave the bank. Mm. On coming back, I see, I saw my financial control guys, you know, looking at something. I asked them, what is it? I looked at this accountant. I just applied. That's the way I applied. Mm. Uh, the day they invited me to come and write a test, aptitude test. You know, some persons have started saying, are you not tired of writing aptitude tests? But I told them, since I'm not tired of looking for a job, I won't get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at that level, I've spent like eight years to nine years. Yeah. I say, I'm not supposed to be writing up to this. But I, yeah. if you invite me, I'm going to write it. Hmm. So I was going. Um, at first, I didn't know what the organization was. Or not. In fact, my thinking of MTN looks like a cyber, a cyber cafe, actually. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I went to go and write it. And surprisingly to me, through to their, their promise when I went to write the test, by the evening, I saw the score in my, in, in my email. Email. It's 6%. I can remember vividly. So, and of all the interviews that I was struggling to attend, some of them, you know, being put under pressure to lie before you try, you go for it. Mm. The MTN mm. one was so seamless. Transparent. You know? I'm trying to also bring divine arrangement into this. So, mm. because they were, they invited me for interview by 8 30 in the morning. So, I didn't need to take excuse off work a day. Mm. I have, just have to call my boss and say something happened. I will be coming in late. Mm. So, I just drove in into Golden Plaza, as they used to call it, attended the interview. I didn't know what was what. I didn't know, you know, their panel is three. Uh, mm. The standard of MTN is that the hiring manager is there. Mm. The HR representative will be the same rank as the rank of the person being interviewed. And then there is the chairman of the panel must be a rank above the hiring manager so that he will actually be the chairman. Mm. And um, also will be a little, a little knowledgeable in the role mm. uh, so that he will so three of them are scoring, scoring you after they will pull it and then. So there is one critical thing they look out in MTN. They call it uh, acronym is, is lyric. L is for leadership. They are going to ask you a question to tell them, you know, the, 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 the interview with the start methodology. Tell mm. us the situation, the tact, what is the action you took and the result. Mm. 